In this video, you will learn some quick matching hacks in Revit. We will be modeling the tone wall conceptual design by Saul Kim. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week. Now let's get started. So here I am in Revit and first I am going to create walls. So I am going to select 12 inches from here and let's select rectangle and just make sure the height is 10 feet and i'm just going to create a rectangle like this 60 feet by 25 feet rectangle now i'm just going to drag these walls to the center and let's go to 3d now let's select these walls by pressing the tab key and then I'm going to click here, copy to clipboard, and we'll just paste them to level 2. Perfect. Now let's go back to level 1. And I'm just going to spread this wall, SL. And then I'm just going to drag this here on this side as well. We'll just create a 35 feet opening here. Let's make it 12 feet and here let's make 12 on this side as well. So we got this 35 uh, feet opening. Here we are going to create this curve or this torn wall uh, shape. Before that we just want to create another wall here uh, uh, a little thinner. So let's select this one and press CS to create similar. Then I'm going to select a six inch wall uh, let's change the location line to finish face exterior and i'm just going to draw a wall like this perfect now we can just simply create uh, just uh, some more walls here and create an opening in the middle i'm just going to make it six feet now we can use wall opening to create an opening here first we need to click on this face and then we can just create a rectangle like this now i'm going to select this one and just drag it to this wall and on this side as well so if i go to 3d see we got something like this now let's go ahead and create the this torn shape here for that we are going to use in place mass so let's uh, go to massing inside and first click on show mass button and then in place mass if you want you can change the name i'll just leave it mass one click ok now here first we'll create some reference planes so for that we need to go back to level one and i'm going to create reference planes let's create one here And then I'm just going to copy this one. Let's copy this at four feet. We are going to create six reference planes here. So this one also at four feet. And then we'll create two more uh, at eight feet each. Here also eight feet. And then the last one should be 12 feet or we can just simply copy this reference plane to the edge of this. Uh, this thin wall perfect now let's quickly name this reference plane so we can easily draw our profile on these reference planes so let's select this one i'm just going to name it one and we'll just quickly name these reference planes in order perfect now let's go to 3d and we can start creating uh, our profile so first i'm going to change the visual style to hidden line and then go to right view here and let's start creating our profile first i will just create a straight line okay as you can see we are not able to draw on this because draw on face is selected here so we need to make sure that we have selected draw on work plane and then we'll select reference plane one from this drop down and we'll create a line. I'll first create a straight line like this. 
okay it's not visible but if i try to make a selection we should be able to see this line this is because uh, the line uh, lines are overlapping here anyway let's select this line and i'm just going to copy and paste on the same place align to same place and then we'll uh, it's, it's still selected so we can simply change the reference plane so i'm just going to select reference plane from this drop down there we go you have that on uh, on this uh, reference plane too now let's go to right view again and this time we will create an angled line here so i'm going to select line from here and then make sure draw on work plane is selected and then i'm going to change the play, uh, placement plane let's select reference plane 3 and this time we'll create a 10 feet line at uh, at this angle and then i'm going to change the reference plane to reference plane 4 and this time we'll create an arc so let's select arc from here and then we'll create a 10 feet arc maybe this angle then i'm going to press escape key to deselect this and we'll select reference plane 5 and create another one another arc here perfect now we can select this arc the last one copy to clipboard and we'll just paste in the same place and then we can just change the reference plane 6 there we go so it's looking something like this now we can use these lines to create a form so let's select all of these lines and click here create form there we go we got this cool curved shape here let's click finish now we can simply create a wall by face here so let's click this drop down and select wall by face or you can select wall and then click here pick faces and we'll just pick this face make sure the six inches is selected let's pick this face there we go to create the cable we can use in place mass again so let's select this one okay the wall is selected so i'm just going to make a selection like this and then filter we'll uncheck walls and keep mass selected click ok click edit in place and to create the cable here we first need to draw uh, a reference line here so i'm going to click here reference then select line this time we will use uh, draw on face just click on it and make sure 3d snapping is checked so we can snap uh, these faces in this 3d view first i'm going to snap this wall then we'll click on this face here Okay, just ignore that warning. Go to the front view and we'll just try to make it straight. Let's pick this point and we can just move this point. Okay, let's move it. Just try to make it straight. We can use arrow keys as well. Looking perfect. Now, we need to add a point here. Uh, point element let's select point element from here and i'm just going to place one here and then we'll set the work plane on this point element just hit tab key a couple of times to highlight this phase and then we can simply create a circle here create a one inch circle then i'm going to select this circle hold control key and select this reference line and we'll just click create form there we go we got this cable here let's click finish mass and i'm going to create a thin wall select wall from here and then we'll create one millimeter wall let's click edit and i will put the same here one millimeter 
click OK and then we'll use pick faces again and we'll pick this mass just select both faces there we go now we can hide this mass so let's go to massing insight and just click here to turn off mass perfect now we'll quickly create the floor here let's go back to level one and select floor, floor from here I'm going to create a floor like this. Now we can simply copy this to the other level. It's going to be on level two, or we can just paste it on the same place and change the height offset. 21 feet. So we have created this cool looking torn wall in Revit. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to support my work on Patreon. Your support helps me create new videos every week and I will see you in the next one.